शुक्लाधर विष्णु शशिवर्ण चतुर्भुज प्रसन्न वदन ध्यानोपात सरस्वती नमस्तुभ्यं वरदे कामिणी विद्यारंभ क्यामि सिद्धिर्भव मे सदा गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरुसाक्षात्म ब्रह्म तस्म श्रीगुरव नम so last class we learned uh, the second and third verses of dakshinamurti stotram so we can probably practice that so bonus god and chant uh, second and third verses bonus hem and prakriti uh, बीजस्यांतरिवांकुरो जगदिदं प्रांग निर्विकल्पं पुनः माया कल्पित देश काल कलना वैचित्र्य चित्रीकृत मयावीव विजृंभयाजृंभयत्यपि मयावीव विजृंभय महायोगीव यस्वेया श्रीगुरमूर्त नमयदम श्रीदक्षिणामूर्त यस्फुण सदात्मक 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 असत्कलपाथक भासते साक्षात्मसी वेदवाचसा बोधयाश्रिता यक्षा भवेन्न पुनरावृत्तिर्भेवाम्यो भेर्वा भूनिधौ तस्म श्रीगुरमूर्त नम श्रीदक्षिणामूर्त ओके सो लिसन टू अदर्स चैंटिंग so uh, second and third both right yeah bijasyantarivankuro jagadidam prang nirvikalpam punaha maya kalpita desha kalakalana vaichitra chitrikritam maya viva vichrimbhayatyapi mahayogiva yasvechaya तस्मै श्री गुरु मूर्तये नमहितं दक्षिणामूर्तये नमहितं श्री दक्षिणामूर्तये श्री दरिस श्री दरिस या आई सेड आ यस्यैव स्फुरणं सदात्मकं असत्कल असत्कलपार्थगं भासते साक्षात्मसीताश्रितावृत्तिर्भवाधो तस्म श्रीगुरमूर्त नमहित श्रीदक्षिणामूर्त प्रसाद बीजश्यांतरिवांकुरो जगदिदम प्राणिर्विकल्पम पुनः 
माया कल्पित देश काल कलना वैचित्र चित्रीकृत मायावीव विजृंभयी महा योगी वेच्छया तस्म श्रीगुरमूर्त नमद श्रीदक्षिणामूर्त यशस्फुण सदात्मक असत्कम भासते साक्षातमसी वेद वचसा य यो बोधयश्रितात्कर्णाभवे न पुनरावृद्धिर्भवांभो निध तस्म श्रीगुरमूर्त नमद श्रीदक्षिणामूर्त वैचित्रयचित्रीकृत मयावीव विजृभ्यपि महायोगी वयस्ेचया तस्म श्रीगुरमूर्त नमद श्रीदक्षिणामूर्त यस्फुण सदात्मक असत्कर्तक भासते साक्षात वेद वचसा यो बोधयश्रिता न पुनरावृत पुनरावृत पुनरावृतवाबोधि तस्म श्रीगुरमूर्त नम श्रीदक्षिणामूर्त पुनरावृत्ति भवांभो निध पुनरावृत्ति भवांबोधि भवांबो निध पुनरावृत्ति पुनरावृत्ति भवांबोधि विजृंभयति श्लोक दीडिंग इट वि मे नाट गेट इट May not get it. That's what I'm saying. So, more issue. May have to practice a little. So, because uh, there are long words which are one line long. So that is uh, that is something unique about this Dakshina Murti Stotra. And uh, you'll see a few more coming up. So, in that case, best is to split, split, pause, split, pause, and then chant it until you get used to it, and then. Uh, and then you can you can continue after that then it becomes easy so see if you can do that so would somebody like to tell the meaning of these two shlokas or at least one shloka second one <clears throat> uh i'll i'll try uh i'll think it you yeah, okay so she, बीजश्यांकुरो जगदिदिकन जस्ट लाइक अ स्प्रउट इन सैड दिस 
the world was unmanifested uh, before uh, coming into being. Um, maya kal Maya kalpita de Maya kalpita de shakala kalana vaichitra chitri krutam. Uh, once again, uh, it, it was manifested again, and once again it was manifested. Uh, the world was manifested by the influence of desha, space, kala, time, uh, powered by Maya. Maya, Maya, Viva, Vijram, Bhayatya, Pimaha, Yogi, Vayatvechaya. So the world was created uh, with the uh, fanfare, Vijram, Bhayatya, um, out of the desire, Yatvechaya like a magician as and as Mahayogi. To, uh, to that guru, uh, my salutations to uh, that guru, Sri Dakshinamurti. Very nice, very nice. Good. Yeah, him, go ahead. <coughs> yeah, so next one, right? Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> Yasyaivaspuranam sadatmakam asat kalpartagam bhasate. So his consciousness, which is of the uh, nature of existence, which shines through the objects of the world, uh, which are uh, mithya, saksha tattva masiti veda vachasa yo bodhyatya shridan. Uh, he uh, teaches those who have taken refuge to the words of the Veda, such as Tattvamasi. Uh, yat sakshat karanat bhavet na punaravritti bhava uh, uh, bhavam bhonidav. He who uh, cognizes the, that fact that there is no repeat occurrence of birth in this ocean of samsara uh, to uh, that uh, Dakshri, uh, Dakshina Murti who is in the form of uh, my Guru, my Namaskar. Yeah. <clears throat> so, I say that again, he who cognizes? He who cognizes that fact that there is no repeat uh, he who cognizes that fact for him there is no repeat occurrence of birth in mm. this ocean of samsara. Okay, that is correct. <laughs> <clears throat> Good. So, so we saw that uh, the uh, first three verses talk about the Mahavakya, Tattva Masi. First was being Tvam, Tvampada Vicharaha. Second is Tattpada Vicharaha. Third is Asi, Asipada Vicharaha. So, Jiveshwaraikya, third verse. So now let's look at the fourth fourth verse. <clears throat> Very interesting. So let me chant it once so you can while you're looking at it. Na na chitra ghato dharastita mahadipa prabhavaswaram. Yanai yasya tu chakshura dikaranat. Dwara bahis pandate Jana miti tame vabhanta manubha ye that samastam jagadu Thus my Shri Guru Murta ye amayidam Shri Dakshina Murta ye. So that is how we chant it here. <coughs> So here, Shankaracharya is giving an imagery. Imagery. Yeah, he is talking about little more about just chit consciousness. So when we say consciousness, what do we mean? That is what he is going to expand here. <clears throat> so normally, when we think of consciousness, we say no, the consciousness is in this body. This is the idea. Even though I say I am conscious, that much is understood. And I don't see anything else being conscious in this world. 
Okay, some animals are conscious, some trees are conscious, they say. And so consciousness is there, here and there, I can see. But most of this world is jadam. And no consciousness is not manifest. Okay, this is the general idea. <clears throat> so Shankaracharya is refuting that idea <clears throat> to some extent here. And not only that, he is giving a way to look at ourselves, which is very different. Very different from the way we normally think of ourselves. So, for example, so, for example, I see objects in this world. I call it perception, eyesight, through eyesight. Through my eyes, I am able to see so many objects. And we say, the sun shines on the object and the light reflects and the reflected light reaches my eyes and thereby cognition happens. This is the, this is how physics explains it. Which is correct, which is the actual process, no doubt. But then, where does consciousness come into play? This is the question we have to ask. The Shastram says, because I am conscious, I am able to perceive everything. Means, this consciousness is what makes everything happen. I am conscious, therefore sunlight is. This is how, this is a bold statement Shastra makes. Now it's turning the envelope inside out, right? I am conscious, so sunlight is. I am conscious, so the object is. That is how it works in Vedanta. So Vedanta always talks, when it comes to matter, energy and consciousness, our discussions suddenly change from science. For science, matter is central, matter is fundamental for physics. And then later on, consciousness came, maybe Big Bang was there and then consciousness came and it keeps on evolving also. This is the idea of science, at least even physics. For us, it's not like this, completely opposite, correct? Consciousness always was, consciousness is and it will be even after the next, all pralaya and all we talk about. So here, this idea of consciousness is very nicely described through an imagery, through a beautiful image. In that first line, Nana Chidra Ghatodara Sthita Mahadipa Prabhabhaswaram. The entire line describes an example that we all should visualize, he says. Says visualize a pot. Pot, just an earthen pot is there. And imagine it is inverted. And imagine that inside the pot there is a bright lamp. There's a bright lamp. So pots and lamps and all now we can we can appreciate because just the Pauli got over just a few days ago. So lamp, we have lit some lamps. Uh, or at least we have seen other people lighting lamps. So imagine a nice beautiful lamp inside. And uh, this pot, ghata is there. Nana chidra ghata. Not simply a pot. This chidra is a hole. And nana chidra is many hold. Imagine a many hold pot. Pot with many holes. And this many has to be converted to five holes. Imagine this pot has five holes. Pancha chidra ghata. That's the way to look at it. So, pancha chidra ghata sthita mahadipa prabhabhaswara. So, when there's a, these five holes, you must imagine, yeah, just be creative. Imagine they're all placed yeah, equidistant or at least spread out in the pot. 
as spread out as you can. So then what happens? If you place the pot in the middle of the room, in a dark room, then you will see, you will see five beams of light. Correct? Five, depending on the size of the hole, you will see five thin beams or thick beams of light hitting the wall. <clears throat> this is the example. Ghatodarasthita Mahadipa Prabha. <clears throat> that Prabha. Prabha means that brilliance of this lamp is emanating out. Emanating out. So clearly he is referring to he is referring to this this consciousness which is which is reaching out through the sense organs through this body it's reaching out and impinging on <coughs> the objects where is objects see we say that the object is there outside therefore i can see the object but here the example is the consciousness is the one that's reaching out to the objects that's the way to look at it we can give an example <clears throat> further example also suppose there is a room the room, light is a good example we will give the example of a light when we talk about consciousness because light sun is self luminous and so we want to give an example of a self luminous thing or object when we talk about consciousness because consciousness is self revealing you don't need another consciousness to illuminate this consciousness. That we have studied in Vedanta class. So the room is there. It is dark because it is night. Night time there is no electricity. Imagine there is no electricity. It is dark. Now, as the sun rises, as the sun rises, the house become brighter and brighter because there are windows. Now, assume there are no windows. Now, first of all, why does the room become bright when there are windows? It becomes bright because, because there are so many objects outside the house which are reflecting the sunlight. Correct? If there is nothing to reflect the sunlight, the room will be <clears throat> dark even in the daytime. If the sun is on the side and there is no window there and on the sun side of the sun, either the sun has to come directly, it has to the rays have to fall or the sun's light has to be reflected. Somehow, neighboring buildings are there, trees are there, so many things are there. And even the sky reflects sunlight. That also is there. So, that reflecting medium is there which brings in the light so the sun and then then you must imagine the room is dark and then i bring a mirror because so talking about this imagery and uh, so talking about the another example of the sun also where he said the sun's light is needed for the room to be bright and a reflecting medium is also needed for a room to be bright correct reflecting medium is needed if the sun is not falling just in this example of being inside the room a reflecting medium is needed and a source of light is needed so same thing here also atma is the source of light and the reflecting medium is the mind and uh, so with these two combined anything is possible all perceptions happen all knowledge happens so often we give the example of the sun and a reflecting medium ref referring to atma and the mind okay so now here 
he is giving what <clears throat> so just as this this consciousness is the source of light like the sun which goes out goes out and impinges on every object in this world this reason i am able to see a star is because of this consciousness even though i say the light of the star is coming to my eyes true that is also true but this also is true don't throw away the baby with the bath water this is what we say go ahead and study your physics it's good it's important without that physics vedanta is not approachable anyway so we need to know some physics only then we can because vedanta is taking us little further and so some education is needed and so then what about consciousness if we say this consciousness is the one that is like the beams of light that is going out through the through the pot through the five apertures in the pot this consciousness is as though emerging out spandate second line spandate bahihi spandate bahihi outside spandate as though emerging out as though emerging out through the five sense organs how do we know five sense organs chakshuradi karana dwara bahihi spandate chakshuradi eyesight etc means indriyani indriyani panchendriyani dwara that is the way to panchendriya dwara bahihi spandate <clears throat> what bahihi spandate what is it kaha bahihi spandate yasya gnanam yasya gnanam yasya we can say yasya purushasya yasya dakshinamurtehi so that conscious being gnanam bahihi spandate gnanam refers to consciousness and gnanam can also mean this process this process of knowing anything through perception and inference we have seen in the vedanta class so that 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 ability to perceive things is all finally coming down to knowledge when i say i see a tree i am basically saying i know that i see a tree a knowledge has happened we we boil down everything to knowledge so cognition so yasya gnanam to to here means indeed to is a particle in sanskrit which can mean many things to can mean but can mean on the other hand etc so indeed that consciousness of that purusha of that being alone of that dakshinamurti alone is emerging out <clears throat> through the various sense organs like how the mahadeepa prabha so here prabha i said is brilliance that brilliance refers to the lamp deepaha and it's a mahadeepaha because the ordinary lamp light can only go so far but our consciousness can't be limited by that so shankara here is saying mahadeepa <clears throat> and uh, brilliant light you have to imagine some laser you know thanks to laser we can now imagine how how bright light can be they have something called a laser pointer when you are giving a presentation you can use a laser pointer to point this red light on the on the screen and it's amazing they put a warning there don't look at this light don't put the <laughs> don't look at it where is the light coming from like that don't look at it because it can damage your eyes like that they say so in that thing there's a warning always given <clears throat> so we must imagine a powerful light like that mahadeepa and bhaswaram also is brilliance only 
But this is the brilliance referring to the Jnanam consciousness. The brilliance of the consciousness. That consciousness whose brilliance is, is described by this imagery, Mahadipa Prabha. <clears throat> and that consciousness emanates out as it were through the five sense organs. Okay. Then what? Then what? Look at this. Janamiti tameva bhantam anubhati yetat samastam jagat. So, anubhati. Anubhati is the verb here. So, in Vedanta, we will keep encountering this verb, this, this verb again and again. Bhati and anubhati. Correct? So, Bhati means shines. <clears throat> shines like the self luminous object sun. Sun is self luminous. The moon is also luminous. Moon also, moonlight we can see in the night. But then the light of the moon is not its own light. It's simply light of the sun reflected on the moon is what we see. So we will say Surya Bhati, Chandra or Chandrama Anubhati. Chandrama Anubhati. Anubhati means shines after. Shines after. So anything that reflects light is Anubhati. Surya Bhati, Chandrama Anubhati. This is what we say. So here Anubhati. Anubhati is a verb. What Anubhati? Yetat samastam jagat. Anubhati. So jagat Anubhati. This world shines after. This world shines after. What kind of world? Samastam jagat. This entire world. Yetat samastam jagat. This entire world Anubhati. So now this is opposite of physics because uh, the consciousness is given weightage, importance, emphasis here. Correct? So, yetat samastam jagat anubhati. Then, uh, who, who does this? Bhantam eva bhantam. Bhantam here means consciousness. That self luminous, Bhantam here, self luminous Atma, that self luminous Atma alone, Tameva Bhantam Anubhati, illumines the entire world. And how does that Atma illumine? Janami Iti. Janami Iti. <coughs> So, the person says, I know, I see, I hear, I smell, I taste, I touch. So, Janami includes sense perception. Everything happens due to that consciousness. So, Janami Iti. By saying, I know, this this person, this conscious being, this conscious being <laughs> illuminates the rest of the world. Imagine this. This is how this is why we say Vedanta. Vedanta is needed to create a new model for us to think. <clears throat> so Janamiti Tameva Bhantam Anubhati Yetat Sarvam Jagati. Tameva Bhantam. Yetat samastam jagat anubhati janami iti. Okay. And as, as shown by that example, we can appreciate how that anubhati happens, how that shining after happens. The tasmai shri guru murtaye, namayidam shri dakshina murtaye. So, we can split this into <clears throat> into 
you know, maybe three sentences here. So we can say, first example we can say, when a brilliant lamp, I'm now translating, when a brilliant lamp is placed inside an inverted pot, we can say pot, that's fine. Inverted pot is better. Then only it works, example works even better. So when a brilliant lamp is placed inside an invert, inverted pot having many holes, the brackets five holes, light pours out through these holes. Light pours out through these holes. Okay. In the same way, Tathayva, the awareness of Brahma, so Jnanam and Bhaswaram are being translated as awareness So awareness of Brahma is spilling out in the individual through the sense organs like eyes. In the same way, the awareness of Brahma is spilling out in the individual through the sense organs like eyes. Or spilling out of the individual. I mean, spilling is a very, I guess, poetic way of saying it. <clears throat> but it's emerging out. Tameva Bhanta, that awareness, that awareness Brahma is the witness of all this world of things. Witness. So here the word witness is being used. Jana me. Witness. Remember that. There must be a witness in order to in order to have any conversation. In order to talk about the world, one must see the world. So Janami. So the word witness is a good one here. So that awareness, Brahma, is the witness of all this world of things that shines after the Atman. That shines after the Atman. That awareness, Brahma, is the witness of all this world of things that shines after the Atman. So did all of you write down the meaning? Yeah. So let's do this. Let us uh, chant this. So I will uh, I will say it and then uh, you can repeat one of you can repeat it after me. So let's see. Yeah, Bhuvanesh, go ahead and mute yourself. Everybody else also can repeat. Na na chidra, na na chidra, gato darastita, gato darastita. Mahadipa Prabha, Mahadipa Prabha, Bhaswaram, Bhaswaram, Nyanam Yasyatu, Nyanam Yasyatu, Chakshura di Karanadwara, Chakshura di Karanadwara, Bahispandate. Bahispandate Janamiti Janamiti Tameva Bhantam Tameva Bhantam Anubhati Anubhati Yetat Samastam Jagat Yetat Samastam Jagat Tasmai Shri Guru Murta Ye Namayidam Shri Dakshina Murta Ye.
ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಮೂರ್ತ ಶ್ರೀ ದಕ್ಷಿಣ ಮೂರ್ತ So we can now. Uh, so go take some turns here. <clears throat> Somebody has joined. Who is that? It's me only, Jay Kumar. My system is not working. I logged again with the iPad. Okay. Okay. Good. So go ahead him. Uh, let's chant this. ಚಿತ್ರಖಟೋದರಸ್ಥಿತ ಮಹಾದೀಪ ಪ್ರಭಾಸ್ವರ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಯು ಚಕ್ಷುರಾಕರಣದ್ವಾರ ಬಹಿಸ್ಪಂದತೆ ಜಾನಿ ತಮೇವ ಭಾಂತ ಅನುಭಾತ್ಯೇತತ್ಸಮಸ್ತ ಜಗತ್ತ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಮೂರ್ತ ಶ್ರೀ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ನಾನಾಚಿತ್ರಘಟೋದರಸ್ಥಿತ ಮಹಾದೀಪ ಪ್ರಭಾಸ್ವರ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಯು ಚಕ್ಷುರಾಕರಣದ್ವಾರ ಬಹಿಸ್ಪಂದತೆ ಜಾನಿ ತಮೇವ ಭಾಂತ ಅನುಭಾತ್ಯೇತತ್ಸಮಸ್ತ ಜಗತ್ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಮೂರ್ತ ಶ್ರೀ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ಛಿದ್ರಘಟೋದರಸ್ಥಿತ ಮಹಾದೀಪ ಪ್ರಭಾಸ್ವರ ಪ್ರಭಾಸ್ವರ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಯು ಚಕ್ಷುರಾಕರಣದ್ವಾರ ಬಹಿಸ್ಪಂದತೆ ಜಾನಿ ತಮೇವ ಭಾಂತ ಅನುಭಾತ್ಯೇತ ತತ್ ಅನುಭಾತಿ ಜಾನಿ ತಮೇವ ಭಾಂತ ಅನುಭಾತಿ ಸಮಸ್ತ ಜಗತ್ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಮೂರ್ತ ಶ್ರೀ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ಜಾನಿ ಸೊ ದೀರ್ಘಂ ಜಾನಿ ಜಾನಿ ಚಿತ್ರಘಟೋದರಸ್ಥಿತ ಮಹಾದೀಪ ಪ್ರಭಾಸ್ವರ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಯು ಚಕ್ಷುರಾಕರಣದ್ವಾರ ಬಹಿ ಸ್ಪಂದತೆ ಜ್ಞಾನಿ ತಮೇವ ಭಾಂತ ಅನುಭಾತ್ಯೇತತ್ಸಮಸ್ತಗತ್ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಮೂರ್ತ ಶ್ರೀ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ಸೊ ವೇದಾಂತ ಸೊ there are lot of shlokas which highlight many aspects of devatas many many we know that and uh, we talk about the power of ishwara we talk about the relationship of with us to ishwara talk about how how devi protects us like this lot of shlokas are there and so it this these kinds of verses take us take us a notch above so not to go and uh, so very important to keep these things in mind and many many families many people have noticed they take the time to you know when it is pradosham or when it is special days they take the time to bring in that advaita tattva and uh, without that the, they won't complete the puja so very refreshing to see that so that shows our tradition how how it is how far it has taken us okay 
So it's about 7.35. <clears throat> so let's continue with the next verse, which is the fifth verse. Again, another, another interesting verse, verse which highlights our, our tradition of, of uh, analysis, of, of questioning the reality. So we will see that. Deham pranam apindriyanya pichalam buddhim cha shunyam viduhu stri balandha jadopamas tvahamiti bhranta bhrusham vadinaha maya shakti vilasa kalpita maha vyamoha samharine Tasmai Shri Guru Murtaye Namayitam Shri Dakshina Murtaye <clears throat> So, whenever there is a view that is expressed, so Vedanta has a view, and Vedanta says there is fundamentally no difference between. You and Ishwara, very bold statement it makes. And it takes us through a process of analysis. So whenever analysis is there, then doubts can arise, questions will arise, questions have to be answered, logic has to be employed. All this happens. When such a thing happens, then there is always a possibility of others coming up with alternate views. Now, what you say doesn't sound right. Here is what I think is right. So you tell me what is right. Then, okay, so here is what I think is right. That, though all those views, or at least some of those views, Shankara has presented in this verse. Yeah, so we were saying. So we were saying that uh, in a tradition of debating, in a tradition of inquiry, there are bound to be alternate views, <coughs> which is the views that are being described here. So let us carefully see. Very, very interesting. I have not uh, seen this kind of a description uh, in other places in such a such a brief manner. So, there is a person who says, who says, hey, Atma is just the body. Do you have a body or not? Yes. Do you do things with your body? Yes. Every part of this body, okay, the body has parts. You know, it has so many different parts. We know the anatomy of this body. So, that is, that is Atma. Atma is a body. Like that, there is a view. Now, who are the types of people who come up with this kind of view? Well, even the average person also thinks that Atma means body. Beyond that, they have the person doesn't know. So, the average person says the same thing. Atma is the body. Beyond that, I don't know anything else. It must be the body, no doubt. So not only the average person says this, the ignorant person, but even there are people who have analyzed everything, studied this Shastram, and then they say, there is nothing more than the body. And the body is it. This is the final thing. Even medical science seems to say the same thing. Because the science of medicine is all based on 
analyzing various parts of the body and symptoms are there and symptoms are addressed through tests and things like that. So the body is the center. The center of attraction. You go to the hospital, then my body becomes the center of everybody's attraction. Right? So I'm lying down on the bed and all the people looking around. And some interns also are there sometimes. The doctor is explaining. Hey, I'm suffering. You're sitting and conducting a class here. What do you mean? <laughs> You're showing my parts of my body and this and that. And everybody's watching me. And I want a solution to my problem. Yeah, yeah. So he's getting to that. So body is the center. And even medical science, psychology, even though psychology is there now, you know, people can't take the subject. The mainstream medicine doesn't consider psychology to be a proper science. They consider it to be pseudoscience. Because mind, mind is hard to objectify. And so they say mind is, we, we, we have better ways to look at it. Look at the body again, whatever symptoms comes. Based on that, we will treat. This is the way they say. Getting better now because psychology is becoming important and all that. But you look at psychiatry. Very harsh way of treating the human body, really speaking. Really speaking. Good research has been done on this. And uh, so, even the scientific community says Atma means body. There is nothing beyond that. So, we don't need an ignorant person to say Atma is the body. Even after a lot of analysis. And such people are called Charva Kaha. Charvaka. So, since we are all here and uh, all of us are Vedanta students here. and uh, So, I thought I will explain a little bit here. Charvaka. So, in English they use the word materialist. The materialist. And uh, so, that guy says, this is all Atma is. You tell him, you tell him uh, Punar Jarma, he will say, no, no, Punar Jarma is bluff. And you say all this Radham and Pitris and all. I am bluff. All that doesn't exist. And uh, so like this, they, can't, they won't believe in any of these things. Materialist. Okay. So, look at this. All this I explained and I just explained to you the first word of the of the shloka. Deham. Deham. So, de, how do you, what is the sentence to look at here? Aham is there in the second line. Stri balanda jadopamas. Jadopama astu. Aham iti. Aham iti. That aham you have to pick up from there. Aham iti also you pick up. Aham deham. So asmi, is asmi there or not? Asmi is not there. Yeah, Asmi is not there. So, Aham Deham Asmi Iti. There are some people who say Aham Deham Asmi. I am the body alone. Correct? Aham Deham Asmi. Aham Deham Iti Vadati. Iti Viduhu. Aham Deham Iti Viduhu. Last word of the first line. Viduhu is there. So, some people say that I am body alone. That is what it means. Viduhu means plural. Some people say, say that I am the body. Then next level is what? Little more advanced. Aham pranam iti viduhu. Aham pranam iti viduhu. I am not the body. The body is too gross. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm all the physiological functions. All this hunger and this and that which you which are much more subtle. That is what I am. Aham pranam iti vidu. So they are also charvakas, no doubt. The type of charvaka. But they go beyond the body. They are able to see beyond the body. Then, then, then Shankaracharya jumps to then Indriyani. Aham pranam api indriyani api. 
So now he says, no, sense organs are even more subtle. So I am the sense organs. Why? Because without the sense organs, you can't know anything. You, the, the conch, the, that I am a conscious being comes a lot from the sense organs. So he says, I am the sense organs. And we can add mind, etc. And then mind also can be added. Shankaracharya didn't mention it because he is making an important point. But he uses chalam buddhihi. So after sense organs, another person says, Aham chalam buddhihi iti viduhu. Aham chalam buddhihi iti viduhu. So we have to understand this carefully. Buddhihi here means consciousness, not intellect and all that. Okay, don't translate it as intellect. Chalam buddhihi. So there is a view. There is a Buddhist view. They are called Bodhas. Okay, they are called Yogachara Bodhas. What they say is this. There is consciousness, no doubt, they accept. But then, in deep sleep, there is no consciousness. And uh, because there are no thoughts, so there is no consciousness. So between, and also even in waking state, consciousness is constantly flickering. You know, like the strobe light, you know, the strobe they have in this bars and all they have all this crocodile or this, uh, this uh, police, this van is there, car is there and they have the strobe light. And like that, the consciousness is flickering. Chalam buddhi. So a very important view. It's a Buddhist view. <clears throat> and so it is also called Kshanika Vijnani. You may hear this word somewhere. Kshanika Vijnani. So flickering momentary consciousness. Okay. Chalam buddhi. So then what? Cha shunyam viduhu. Aham shunyam iti viduhu. So he has come down all the way to the 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 Shunyavada Bodhaha. Those who say that I am nothing. Atma is void. Atma is emptiness. Don't say consciousness and all. Atma, you you are you don't you don't exist at all, really speaking. This is this is another view. So and then they use their own logic to come to that conclusion. But we say, hey, wait a minute, even to say I don't exist, you must exist. Some existence must be there to recognize that, that non-existence that you talk about. What about that? That will be our argument. But that Shunyam, he has mentioned that particular viewpoint here. Aham Shunyam iti viduhu. Deham pranam api indriyani api chalam buddhihi cha shunyam viduhu. Okay, so I am the body, I am the prana, I am the sense organs, I am the, I am the flickering consciousness and I am shunyam. Shunyam, how to translate shunyam? Okay, void. Here, uh, this book says void. Swamiji says void. So I am void. I am nothingness. I am emptiness. Okay, now these these people. He uses a word for these people. He uses some words for these people. Stri bala. Andha jada upamastu ahamidu. Branta brisham badina. So let's see here. Brisham badina. 
and stri bala. So let's see some words here. All these words we recognize stri bala in there. Stri, he uses the word stri. Literal meaning vachyartaha, as we saw in Vedanta class, vachyartaha is lady or woman, etc. But here it doesn't refer to a woman. He is now giving, he is saying, Upama, he is saying, these people talk like like the ladies, like the children, like the blind people, and like people who are uneducated. Like that, he is saying. Okay? But it can't be woman because in Shankara time, Shankara's time, there were great women. Shankara, is, is also, even in Upanishads, they talk about Maitreyi and Kargi and so forth. So it is impossible for him to say women. They talk like women. So here, attributes he is describing. <laughs> How do we explain this? Somebody who stands in front of the mirror a long time and keeps looking at the body and keeps you know, you know, doing all this. Means what? For that person, the body is important or not? Body is important for everybody, no doubt. We don't deny that. But how much time should I spend in front of the mirror? If, I, if somebody asks the question, what will you say? And um, in my wallet, in my bag also, I'm going to office and I have a mirror. And so I can look at myself any time of the day, anywhere. So that's that's how that's how some some people behave, constantly looking at oneself. Because what happens if my hair is a bit, you know, something like this? What happens? You know, what will people think if, if something like this happens? You know, what will people think? They, they will think that your hair needs to be tidied up. That's all they will think. And they can tell you also. That's the like, use. Why don't you use your friends as mirrors? <laughs> right? <laughs> So many mirrors are there. You don't need a mirror at all. Come on. That is what I will say. So if you have good friends, they will they will say all this thing. Hey, they come on, just take care of this. Okay, I'll take care of it. You're not needed. One little thing coming out like this. You know, it can distract other people. So that's all. That's all the only thing. Instead of looking at your face, they will look at this hair. That's all. That's the only thing. Because people's minds are like that. So, three. So, that is three. Or emotionally weak. These are the attributes we have to bring in. Somebody who is who's so attached to things and can't give up. That person can be, those persons is what we are talking about. Or Shankara is talking about when he says three. Then Bala. So, three here is what? Body. We have to bring the Deham. The first word Deham. You must connect with the words three here. Correct? There's somebody who's too attached to the body and spends a lot of time with the body. Thinking body is everything. Okay. Three and goes with Deham. <clears throat> now look. Now Bala. Bala, baby. Baby is young, young, young boy or girl. What is that person? Bala doesn't worry about body and all. It doesn't, it doesn't, you know, the baby doesn't know anything about its body. But it knows only one thing. What does it know? It knows hunger, it knows thirst, and it knows pain. It will cry whenever any of these things happen. So, prana. Look at Shankaracharya, the way he has brought it all out. So, deham pranam, stri and bala. Bala refers to aham pranam. Pranahaiva. Aham pranam pranahaiti viduhu. Those who say that they are nothing but these like the small babies who worry only about hunger, thirst, and pain. So they are pranatma vadis. These are all pranatma vadis. Previously, dehatma vadi. Here, pranatma vadi. Then, andaha. Look at Andaha. Goes with Indriyani. I am the sense organs. Aham Indriyani iti viduhu. Now look at what the blind man says. I am blind. Correct? I am blind. I am blind means what? That means I am, I am nothing but my eyes. 
I am as good as my eyes. Therefore, I am blind. That's what he says. What if, if only one of his eyes was blind, not the other eyes? What will he say? I am blind in one eye. That's what he has to say. But yet he can see. And uh, he has given up everything else. The mind is given up completely. And the mind with which we can become happy, that he has given up. And his focus is only on the eyes. Therefore, Andaha refers to this. This Indriyatma Vadi. One who says, I am the sense organs. <clears throat> Correct? So, Stri, Bala, Andha, Jada. Jada means the ability to think is lost. One for whom the faculty of thinking, faculty of thinking is not there. So, very important. Vedanta highlights this. Without you know, the only thing that differentiates us from animals is the faculty of thinking. If that is not there, then what is the use? And what is the use of life? So, jada refers to a very common, even in our, our in this Tamil Nadu. I, I know my mother has teased me, has used this word jada for me also. Hey, jada. Jada means, jada means, <laughs> You don't understand anything or what? Buddhu. You know, Gardaba, Mendak, you know, they use all these words in Hindi also. Kuch kuch bolte hai na. What is that? Uh, buffalo. Irmamade. You know, they say, Irmamade means this buffalo keeps on sitting there. It's happy. Somehow, buffaloes, these, these people are all happy also that I found. But nothing, nothing moves. Nothing moves and it doesn't bother and you can sit there for hours. And uh, so jada, that is jada here. Upama. Upama means like, simile. So like these people, like these people, Sri, Bala, Andha and Jada. Brantaha. They are Brantaha. Brantaha means they are deluded. They are confused. All these people are confused like them. These people who say, I am body, I am prana, etc. are all confused. Branta. Then he says one more thing. Brisham Vadina. Even though they are confused, they, they are cocksure. They are absolutely sure that they are right. And they argue about it also. So, Prisham Badina. So even though they are confused, they think they are right. Because the intellect is up, is 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 is, uh, is affected. And yet, so they, they boldly say these things without really thinking through. Prisham Badina. Then what? Maya Shakti Vilasa Kalpita Mahavyo Vyamoha Samhari. <clears throat> Rukmini Jari is still there? So, we don't know. I think I have... Uh... I am there, uh, Jay Kumar Ji. I have blocked the video because my internet quality is very bad. Good, good. Okay, that works. So, you are able to I hear, am, uh... no? Yeah, I am able to hear. Okay. So, Samharine. Samharine, fourth case, goes along with Sri Guru Murthy and Dakshina Murthy. Fourth case, unto that Dakshina Murthy, who is the one who does Samhara? Samhara means what? Who removes? Who removes? Who eliminates? What does he eliminate? So in Sanskrit, you have to go from backward. No? So by now, I think some of you are used to this. It's uh, right. In such a big word like this, you have to start from the back end. And then keep going forward. So you write, write uh, from the, le the left to right. Then you read from right to left. Like you interpret from right to left. Like Arabic. So, Samharine, unto that person who removes. Removes what? Moha. Vyamoha. Moha is delusion, confusion. Vyamoha means confusion about the self. The biggest of all confusions, Vyamoha. He removes the Vyamoha. Okay. 
and maha vyamoha see how carefully we are looking at these things why maha maha because the uh, the amma kubra parmeshwar maha vyamoha so he says uh, this confusion is not just for a few people it is universal right we see this kind of this ignorance is universal and it doesn't depend on any time or place nothing and some advanced country and not advanced developing and developed all these words are people use doesn't matter everywhere this moha is there so maha vyamoha samharine and uh, this this confusion comes from where maya shakti vilasa kalpita so we saw earlier also maya viva vijrumba yatyapa api maha yogi va yasvechaya so he brings that here kalpita created by created by the vilasa vilasa kalpita by the play by the play of maya shakti this confusion that is created by the play of maya shakti this dakshana murti removes and therefore tasmay shri guru murtaye nama idam shri dakshana murti correct so if we are to translate this then we should say <clears throat> there are people or many people vehemently argue now i'm translating this prisham vadina vehemently argue that atma is the body kama prana kama the organs of action and the sense organs so indriyani so action, organs of action and sense sense organs so jnana indriyani and karma indriyani kama the flickering mind or consciousness flickering mind or consciousness and nothingness or void atma is this this thing atma is body ityadi so there are some people say all these things vehemently argue that atma is the body the prana the organs of action and the sense organs the flickering consciousness or mind and even nothingness even void okay they are all mistaken next sentence they are all mistaken like like people focused on their bodies okay i didn't i'm translating three as people focused on their bodies because they have people focused on their bodies kama children kama the blind and dull persons and uh, my salutations uh to that lord dakshina murti who has taken the form of my teacher or universal teacher we missed one line now yeah so it's coming and that that line is coming so in english it's, it's coming now <laughs> suspense <laughs> so the who has taken the form of a teacher and has taken the form of atman teacher and atma of every being 
who destroys the delusion caused by the play of the power of Maya. So, who is taken the form of my teacher and also Atma means myself of every being, Atma of every being, and who destroys the delusion caused by the play of the power of Maya. So, my prostrations to Lord Dakshinamurti, who has taken the form of my teacher and also the Atma of every being, Kama, who destroys the delusion caused by the play of the power of Maya. Did I get that? Yeah. So, let's chant this once and conclude. So, one of you, uh, perhaps him, if you can yeah. unmute yourself. Deham pranam api. Deham pranam api. Indriyan yapi. Indriyan yapi. Chalam buddhim cha. Chalam buddhim cha. Shunyam viduhu. Shunyam viduhu. Stri balandha. Stri balandha. Jadopa mastu. Jadopa mastu. Aham iti. Aham iti. Bhranta bhrusham padinaha. Bhanta Bhisham Padinaha Maya Shakti Vilasa Maya Shakti Vilasa Kalpita Kalpita Mahavyamoha Mahavyamoha Samharine Samharine Tasmai Shri Guru Murtaye Namayidam Shri Dakshina Murtaye Tasmai Shri Guru Murtaye Namayidam Shri Dakshina Murtaye Yeah. Good. So, anybody else would like to say it, Punish? Deham pranam api indriyanyapi chalam buddhincha shunyam viduhu stri balanda jadro pamastiva stva vahamiti branta brusham vadinaha maya shakti vilasa kalpita mahavyamoha samharine Tasmai Shri Guru Sahidam Shri Dachina Murtaye. Yeah. So, two places uh, is first line Indriyan Yapi. Say that. Deham Prana, Deham Prana Mapi Indriyan Yapi. Indriyan Yapi. Second line Jadopa Mas Twahamiti. Jadopa Mas Twahamiti. Tri balandha jadopa mas tvam vaha miti tvaha miti tvaha tri balandha jadopa mas tvaha miti tvaha miti branta prushan vati yeah prasad Deham pranam api indriyan yapi chalam buddhim chasunyam viduhu Trivalam dajadopa masta vahamiti Rantha brusham vadinaha Maya shakti vilasa kalpita maha Vyamoha samharine Tasmai shri guru mutae namayidam Sidakshina mutae Good. <coughs> Rukmaniji. Degam pranam api indriyanyapi chalam buddhim cha chunyam viduhu 
श्री बालाजोपमास्वहमी भ्रांताशक्तिलासकलोकसंहारिणे तस्म श्रीगुरमूर्त नमित श्रीदक्षिणामूर्त good just practice it practice the chanting properly so that uh, on this dekumar uh, ji i just uh, this thing uh, can you do the anvaya of this lines like you know uh, first line some of the anvaya krama yeah yeah line yeah we can do that so so that will be the Yeah, so anvaya of the first line will be aham, deham, pranam, indriyani, api, chalam, buddhihi, buddhim, cha, shunyam, cha viduhu, or buddhim, shunyam, cha viduhu. Okay. So, so aham, we bring aham from the second line, okay. and then iti also from the second line. So put the aham okay. in the front. Aham, deham, mm. aham, deham. You can say aham pranam, aham uh, pranam api, aham indriyani api, aham chalam buddhihi. Then aham shunyam cha iti viduhu. That iti can come towards the end okay. because it's a quotation. No, iti means it's a quotation. Mm. And so aham deham iti viduhu. So iti can be brought. If you like, you can aham deham iti viduhu. अहम प्राणम अति विदु अहम इंद्रियाणि अति विदु अहम चलाम बुद्धि इति विदु अहम शून्यम इति विदु लाइक दैट चाइस जस्ट एंड यू कैन पुट एंड समवेयर देन भ्रांताह स्त्री बालांध जडोपमाह to bhrantaha so these people who are like all these like uh, the children etc are deluded bhrantaha so stri balandh jadopamaha to bhrantaha santi you can add the word santi and you can then next line you can say te brisham vadinah santi so i'm just splitting it so it becomes easier for you so they are confused but they are also brisham vadinah they they vehemently argue correct and you can add both sentences also if you want so i'm speaking so te brisham vadinah will come along with the third line maya shakti no it will come with the second line itself so we should say okay. something like this so even though they are like children and blind people etc they still argue vehemently how does that sound okay right even though they are like this they are deluded they are their intellect is badly affected still they are they are very sure about themselves they argue vehemently correct yadyapi te bhrantaha even though they are confused they still they are brisham vadinah they are those who argue vehemently so that's the way it goes okay rukmini ji yeah go ahead and unmute yourself so we can yeah yeah now the next line next two lines can go together okay or we can say namaha माया सो माया शक्ति विलास कल्पित महाव्यामोह संहारिणे नमः सो दैट अनफॉर्चूनेटली दिस थर्ड लाइन इज जस्ट वन वर्ड वन वर्ड सो सो इफ यू हैव टू स्प्लिट इट वी हैव टू वी हैव टू ऐड सम वर्ड्स इन बिटवीन सो माया शक्ति विलासेन माया शक्ति विलासेन कल कल महाव्यो महाव्यामोहम 
samharine namaha like that we have to say that is split okay because it's it's called a samasa it's one word so what how does it work the one who removes the mahavyamoha which is caused by maya the play of maya shakti if you go from the back to the front you can you quickly find out samharine mahavyamoha samharine and then maya shakti vilasa kalpita so good to split it that way okay and then thus thus my uh, tasmai shri gurumurtaye shri dakshinamurtaye idam namaha idam namaha my salutations to that dakshinamurti who is also in the form of everybody's guru so a bit uh, very interesting right so how it tells us what are the types of discussions they used to have before if shankaracharya had to write this that means all these debates were going on we hear stories about shankara traveling from the south to north establishing mathas and all that so imagine what what a life that must have been right wherever he goes there was a king or there was a scholar there was a philosopher sit and talk and uh, and if we are studying about him today then you can imagine how how what all was done to to preserve this it's not like the money wants to preserve it automatically gets preserved the more akshati rakshita so so teacher student as long as it is there tradition is there then it gets protected so i found it to be very interesting okay anything else good so a bit a bit long today because of the power cuts and all that so i'll say i'll have to yeah go ahead and pause let's finish with the prayer om